Hello and welcome to the second chapter of Animation Flash uh, 2-38. Use the text layout framework. You'll also notice that I've lo I've already loaded fl2 underscore 4 dot fla. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start to play around with this text box. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my text tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click my text tool. I have my text box selected. And I want to make sure that this says TLF text. Uh, there's two different options here. There's classic text and TLF text. I want to make sure TLF text is selected. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the containers and flow box here. Now I'm going to get rid of this right here, but my containers and flow. And then what I want to do is click the behavior list arrow and click multi-line. So you'll notice my behavior list. So if I have single line, it'll look like this. If I say multi-line, no wrap, it'll look the same, meaning it's not wrapping. If I do multi-line, it includes wrapping, so I can actually see all the items here. It says change the column value to 2 to 3 and then back to 1. So what's going on here is I come along and see where my columns. If I change it to 3, all that does is that breaks up my text into 3 columns. Good for a newspaper layout and things along those lines. So I'm going to change it back to 1 now. All right, it says uh, point to the middle handle on the right side. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to actually take this, and what it is is lots of instruction that means make it smaller, about that big, so you get the classic car as it appears at the bo uh, top of figure five, 56, page, uh, well, figure 56, page flash 2-39. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take um, this bad boy here, and I can use my selection tool, and I'm going to move it up there. Now you'll notice that this flow icon indicates that there is more text and more information below here that's not actually displayed. Now on the instructions on Flash 2-39, uh, I was looking all over for the container button and things along those lines. And the way I solved it essentially is I created a text box. Here's my text box, right? Okay, here's my text box. So I've created my text box. Now what I do is when I click this right here, I can actually take this, and you'll notice my, eh, right? I can actually take my mouse pointer over this, and you see that button right there where it has the two links? What I can do is I can grab that, and I should be able to link them. I did this last time. So give me just one little minute, little technical. I play around with it a little bit. You'll notice right here, it has a linking icon, so I have it selected. Right now, it's a broken link. If I take my mouse pointer over here, that's where that selection tool appears after I've drawn the text box. And now when I actually click it here, you have the link. What that will do is that'll link these two together, so anything not shown in the first text box is actually shown in the second text box. So now what I do, what I have, what I do, what I have to do is, there's my, it goes to where it says car, and then I'm going to change it to where it says including the, right? So it's right there. And it really doesn't matter to a certain great, great extent for me if what appears over here is what appears over here. I just need to make sure that, okay, this box is wide enough to ex display the other pieces of information. So now I go back here, and I'm good to go where that's concerned, and I grab this. Okay. So now I've selected both of them, I've put them together, and we're, we are absolutely golden. So I can take this bad boy up here if I want to, and I can put it here. So we've done that. Drag the second container position to figure 58. So page uh, flash 2-40, figure 58. I've kind of made it look like that. Um, then we want to do, now it says click the heading. So when we're actually clicking the heading, I want to click here. And then I want to, it says, click the heading, click the rotation list arrow in the character area. So, if I'm clicked in here, and I look over here, I find the character area, and on the properties panel, and I want to click my 270 degree rotation. So where it says rotation, I want to put 270 degrees. Now I've actually changed it where it says 270 degrees, and I want to do modify, and I want to do transform, and then I want to rotate 90 degrees clockwise, which is going to take me this way. So now I've actually taken this heading, and I've put it here. Now, 
and it should look similar to figure 60. And then I can use my arrow key to kind of rearrange that. And then in the container border color icon. So if I'm looking over here and I look for my the pencil option, which is right here, I'm actually going to change it to black. So I'm making the border to be black. And then this next one where I have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, this is 18 flash 2-41. I'm actually going to take this over here and I'm going to use this dropper to get the color from the car. Notice it then transfers the color over to this. Now, I'm going to click the text tool right here and I'm going to choose nickname the 57 Chevy in this particular box, right? After I've choose the nickname the 57 Chevy, I can also come over here to where it has a highlight button and I can click on this and it should transfer it over there. So if I push enter, um, it actually erased it because I'm a bad person. So I'm going to undo the change. Boop. So it should now have it actually highlighted. And if I click on the selection tool, then indeed it'll actually have it highlighted and I'm good. All right, now this was kind of a short video because this finished out the second half of our uh, lesson four. But this actually covers our total lesson four covered drawing different text objects. It covered modifying those particular text objects. It, color, it, it covered the actual coloration of those text objects. And it, and it covered all the elements involved in the creation that we had to work with. All right, so at this point in time, the next section will be on Lesson 5. So if you have any further questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, good luck and uh, have fun.